Hey, what's going on YouTube? Taka Tanaka Giants here with a bit of a Japanese memorabilia video for you guys. So, I do have a lot of Japanese stuff in here that I want to show. Um, I do have a mail day as well, and uh, I do have a pack break. So this is going to be my unofficial sponsor for today. Fin Final Fantasy Art Museum. Um, it says trading cards. I don't know if it's like a, a game, like a Pokemon type of thing, or it's just art cards. But we'll take a look at those in a second. Um, first time for me to be opening that, that product. But... Anyways, yeah, so here we go on to the mail day, guys. Um, I have some Japanese cards. Sorry, it's not focusing. Come on now, come on. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, so out of a 1999 BBM, this is actually a very awesome rookie class. I have a uh, Koji Uehara now with the Texas Rangers. I have a Daisuke Matsuzaka with the Red Sox. Um, yeah. And a Fukudome now with the Chicago White Sox. So that's a pretty cool rookie class, um, and there's some other cards that I got. I'll just fly through these. Fukuhara, who I don't really know. Uh, Fujikawa, still with the Hanshin Tigers, closer. Um, Arai, Morimoto, and Iwase. So very cool additions to my PC. Um, if you're interested in any of these cards, go ahead and let me know. I'm not sure if you guys are, but if you are. But these are pretty cool rookie cards. Very nice for my PC. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll get to the pack break at the end of the video. But I, do want to I did want to show these uh, these movie programs off to you guys and also to uh to dave 2bc183 so i know he likes movies and stuff and uh yeah so i want to show these uh as you can see here on the left this is from the movie scanners wow and this is from the movie schindler's list um movie programs are sold here in japan when uh when a movie is released so if you were to go to movie theater and watch uh a new movie like avengers I don't know if that's in Japan right now, but uh, Avengers or like uh, the newest one here in Japan, I think it's John Carter, the Disney flop. But if you were to go and see one of those movies at the movie theater, they sell uh, like movie goods, maybe like uh, postcards or like um, cell phone straps, things like that with the characters on them. But they also sell these cool movie programs. And the movie programs, I mean, these are still sealed, but if you were to open them up, you'd find uh, information about the movie all in Japanese. Um, and some pictures as well. So here I have, obviously this is Scanners and Schindler's List. These are, uh, these were sold when the movie was released. They're not available for sale anymore unless you go to like a, a used bookstore and, and pick them up used. But this one I have here is uh, open. And this is from uh, The Ten Commandments, the Charlton Heston movie. And uh, what I really like about this one, obviously it's open, but it's it's pretty cool. See, it's, see it's all in, uh, you got black and white photos here. You got all the Japanese text. Um, pictures here but what's really awesome about this one is that there's some pretty cool color photos inside as well so the paper is very high quality um, as you can see very neat you have information about the director obviously it's not Japanese but you also have Charlton Heston um, that's his name Charlton Char Charlton Heston <laughs> and uh, doesn't go by Moses he goes by Mose I guess that's a Japanese way of saying Moses, Mose. So that's pretty cool. Um, got some other stuff in here, some artwork. And uh, yeah, some more photos, some stills from the movie. That's pretty cool, I like that scene. Um, what do I want? So yeah, they're pretty cool collectibles in my opinion. Um, they do sell for quite a bit of money on eBay for some of the uh, for some of the more popular movies like, uh, what do I got, Jaws, Rambo. I think there's one up on eBay. I think the most expensive one right now is for a Terminator. It's not like a it's on a buy it, buy it now or best offer for like a, a little over $100, I think. But um, some of them do sell for quite a bit of money. And I think this one's in pretty good condition. Um, this one is actually, I had to do a little bit of research because it doesn't actually state when the movie was released here in Japan. But um, I did have to take, take some notes from imdb.com. Ten Commandments was released in uh, 1958, March 5th. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know why that's in Japanese. Uh, March 5th of 1958 here in Japan. So, uh, pretty cool. Obviously, this was sold when the movie was released. Let me go focus back on the, on the program for you. So, this was uh, sold when the movie was released. And so, what? That makes this thing like 53 years old, something like that. So, pretty cool. Um, vintage, I guess. Um, yeah, so you got this pretty cool. Some more photos, some more black and white. Uh, information about some of the supporting cast, which is pretty neat. Um, not just the character but it, it talks about the actual actor and actress. So for example, I'm, I don't know if you can see that, but it says like 007, 007. I guess he was an actor maybe in 007. I'm not quite sure. But then some other, uh, Vincent Price, that's pretty cool. 
other ones. Okay, and then so this is what I found at the very end when I purchased this. I picked this up a couple years ago, and um, when I opened it up after I purchased it, I found this very cool newspaper clipping from when the movie was originally released. So this move here, move pe uh, sorry, um, newspaper clipping. So I wanted to say was actually um, yeah advertised, I guess, in the newspaper. Duh. But um, yeah, it has the the mark for the movie theater here, which is uh, I think Toho Plus. Toei Plus, Toho Plus, and uh, I guess something like AMC or Regal back in the States. And um, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, on the back, there's, actually I thought this was very interesting. I'll go ahead and fly through this really quick. I know it's on Japanese, but bear with me because I think this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so you have, a, what you have here are uh, prices for fruits and vegetables and fish. So here you have uh, the fish market, the going rates for the fish market. So kind of like a... Uh, um, NASDAQ index, I guess stock index that you'd find in the business section of a newspaper. This is for farmers, obviously. Um, in the Osaka fish market, Osaka vegetables and fruits market. So for example, if I want to take a look at uh, the price of cucumbers, we'll look at cucumbers. So cucumbers are right here. I know it's not Japanese, sorry guys, but cucumbers from the uh, Miyazaki prefecture or Miyazaki state. You can pick up 10 kilograms, which is about 20, 25 pounds of cucumber for about 4,300 yen high, 2,000 yen low. So pretty cool in my opinion to kind of have this nice bit of a history along with, sorry, go ahead focus on the program again, along with the program. So I was pretty happy to find this as a little hidden surprise when I opened up the, uh, the large team bag, I guess, that the magazine came in. So pretty cool. Um... Like I said, they do have these available for uh, the newer movies like Transformers or, or whatever. Transformers is old, sorry. But, you know, the newer movies that came out. So, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I might try to flip some of these on eBay or maybe pick up some more. So, anyways, other guys, so thanks for, uh, thanks for uh, holding on. Um, let me go ahead and get into these packs. So, I do have packs of Final Fantasy Art Museum. Like I said, I don't really know... Um, what the cards look like, but they do sell for quite a bit of money on eBay. So, let me go ahead and get into one pack. Um, there are, oh, what, what do we have in here? It doesn't really seem to be any kind of like memorabilia cards or autograph cards, but there are special cards that are inserted one in five packs. There are some like rare foil cards as well, and those sell for quite a bit of money. So, here we go, guys. I might have to go from the bottom. I don't think the top's going to open up. I forgot to bring scissors again. Oh, this is pretty easy. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take a look. Let's share in this experience together. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so I don't really follow Final Fantasy all that much. Um, my brother's more into it than I am. So I don't really know the characters at all, but I'll just kind of fly through them. Got a lightning card. Ship of Cocoon. Let me go ahead and focus a little more for you guys. Sorry, guys. I have a Yog Rosh portrait card. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about the cards, guys. Baham Bahamut. I think he's like a a bad guy. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing by the by the appearance. Uh, Oreba Dia Vanille. Vanilla. That's kind of cool. I think this might be from the movie um, or one of the animations, as you can see here. Like a bit of a film strip going on. A reason of saying goodbye. English isn't perfect. Um, yep, some more. I hope. 10, 10, 10. Or dot, dot, dot. Vanille, which looks up at the falchier. Uh, I don't know what's going on. In the hand of the falchier. I don't know what that is either. And finally, just kind of like a promotion card for some of the figures that they sell here in Japan. So, I guess all in all, this pack was a bit of a bust, maybe. I'm not quite sure, but I'll be sending these out to you guys as extras. You can have them in your collection. Here's what the backs look like, by the way. Oops. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? Maybe from the video game. That's pretty neat. Oops. Portrait card. Very cool. But anyways, yeah. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you liked a lot of the Japanese memorabilia that I showed you guys in the video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah. Peace, guys. Bye-bye.